Welcome back to IPCPR 2017 with Cigar Federation. I'm Trip. I'm here with Ben Winnaker from Ventura Cigar. Uh, we're here in front of the case study. Ben, can you tell us a little bit about the case study? It's kind of yeah. unique. Yeah, this is a really unique project, and this is something that our CMO, Jason Kerrigan, actually spearheaded last year before IPCPR as the FDA deeming regulations were coming down. Sure. And it was a project that we'd wanted to do for a long time, but you know, we had kind of a, some hangups here and there, and then when the regulations came down, we went, okay, we need to get behind this, we need to get on it and make it happen. So we called up some of our friends in the industry who we've been working with for a long time, Placencia Cigars, Rocky Patel, Drew Estate, Davidoff, La Aurora, and we went, hey, we're looking for some cigars that are maybe limited edition that you already sold the amount you said you were going to, maybe some overstock, something that, you know, you blended but you never released, that's just been sitting and aging. We want to buy all of that. And they perked up and they went, yeah, absolutely, we're totally in for that. So we bought all the blends. We have a total of 26 of the case study blends that are out there that are going to be available over the next several years. This year we're launching one through five. And, um, you know, I kind of like go through each one if that's good with yeah, you guys. Yeah, perfect. All right, yeah, let's right. go through the blends. Cool. So first blend that we have here is coming out of the Occidental factory, Davidoff. And this features a, uh, this is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Samia 192 binder, and then multi-country blend. Nice medium-bodied smoke, great any time of the day. And it's been doing really well for us so far that came out. Case study number two here is coming out of La Aurora. This is one of my personal favorites of the line. It's got a great spicy kick right at the front, and then it kind of mellows out as you smoke it. But overall, medium-bodied. And that's uh, Corojo Ecuador Brazil binder. Very nice smoke all around. Case study three, once again, we're going over to Davidoff here. Sorry, that's down here. And uh, another medium, medium foam. Uh, this is the first Salomone that's being offered in the case study. Nice smoke, and uh, the price points on all these, by the way, very affordable. You know, you're gonna pay probably double the price for the original front marks on these to what we're selling them for. So people are gonna get a chance to explore some really exciting smokes. And that brings us into the limited editions. And you'll notice that some of these have the white band, some have the black. These white bands here, these are our master editions. Those are gonna be available perpetually throughout you know, the years, as long as the scar industry's going and we're in business, basically. Limited editions, on the other hand, these are one and gun. So once these are out of, uh, out of stock, they're gone forever, they're not coming back. Uh, CS4 and CS5 out of Davidoff and Placencia, respectively, limited to 12,000 cigars each. And uh, so get them while you can. And they're gonna be available to select retailers nationwide key tobacconists, TAA members. Great, so the uh, the white labels, that means they are they were out of production or kind of shelved, but they're in active production now? Correct, yeah, so these are all cigars that they're still utilizing the tobacco for maybe other blends, but it's stuff that's still being grown that's still widely available that they can get their hands on. Whereas, you know, the limited editions, maybe it was a special crop of tobacco that they only got for one year, so they're not able to reproduce it. Um, you know, it might be something that we could try and reproduce, but it would be similar to what we have with a lot of cigars in the market where it's a limited edition and then it gets re-released and re-released. And, you know, your original cigar doesn't taste anything like, you know, the second or third release. And we're trying to avoid that. We want to make sure that, you know, we're being honest with the product, we're being honest to, you know, what we're saying we're going to do and we want to stick with that and give, you know, our consumers something they can trust and also something they can kind of collect, experiment with and play with and get to know some of the different tobaccos that are out there in the world. Great. Well, thanks for talking to us about uh, what's new at Ventura. Have a great show. You as well. Thanks for coming by.